All right, Libra. So we can take a look at this lady in the middle. So why is that important? It's like the basis of the reading. You're going to watch a lot of things happen. You're going to be a part of some of it, <laughs> all of it, um, whether your words are in it or not, because of course people always have something to say. But you're really, it's this going back and forth and like in and out and up and down all around and understanding what is going on and why there needs to be a finishing in this area of your life, this area where and why and how you contribute. Like, yeah, sometimes it is another person's fault and it's what they've done and it makes sense, but this is different. This is you grieving and under having a grieving moment or a period in your life where you can actually take a look at everything and realize that where you're at now in terms of how you define your beliefs is what's most important now. That's what's going to continue to move you forward and that's what's going to help in that spiritual side of yourself and maybe even Taurus moving into or Venus moving into Taurus by the 16th which is very soon if not when this comes out you will have a better understanding and a better not a better moment but more of a moment with yourself and with what has transpired you know because people want to take you out of this place that's what people don't realize is like they want to take you out of this place and even if you do for a moment you come back to it and realize that it's not worth it it's just not worth it Whatever that you're given now in terms of time, opportunity, uh, maybe a literal gift or maybe it's your gift that you realize needs to be given a moment. Some Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. You also see that what you have to offer has a lot of potential. And now you come to this healing point where either some beautiful advice is given to you or you really see that what you're deciding to put out there what you're saying now what you're declaring now is for the best life that you can have that up until now it's been great and it hasn't you know there's been extremes for most Libras so you're really taking a moment to grieve this true ending this sincere moment of this has been what it was, neither good or bad, but it's been not exactly you now. Maybe it was you then, of course, but you now is very clear of who you take things from, who you give things to. Realizing that every moment in your life, regardless if you're not telling the whole truth, you're adding to whatever narrative you have. You know, you spent so much time, or Venus and Taurus will have you spend more time understanding that your doubts are only what take you away from being in your worth long enough right so going from aquarius and mercury and aquarius to mercury and pisces and it's going to go into aries by the 19th right before we switch into aries season you want to be really aware of this because that se next season is when you're going to do more this season is doing for you and will continue as you remove yourself from this space that you didn't realize that you weren't, you didn't even really put yourself into. Because when you were younger, you were put into situations. 
You responded out of your protection. Now everything's different. Now you have not only the protection you need and always deserved and wanted, but it's also bringing you more luck, more love. And understanding that if this is what you're going after, it's important to leave some mindsets behind that are, of course, intertwined with how you make money, utilize money, utilize resources, see yourself, right? Pisces season is a good time to do all of that you're doing. You know, I would recommend it for everyone, but not everyone's in the same place. You know, the, the eclipses are moving into Libra and Aries and you're going to get a, a grand taste of really magnified teachings in your life and you don't want any of this to be there. Regardless if it was a surprise or not, what's important to remember is it doesn't matter what you have or haven't done, what I've been told over and over again and what I've been continuing to lean into as a Libra, is to know that it's whatever is for you is for you. Whatever you're meant to have is coming into your life regardless of what you're working on now and if that's meant to stay in your life. Because sometimes things just swoop right in, unprovoked, <laughs> and then are saying, preaching to you, look, 10 and 10 again, we have a lot of matches here. But you can confidently put down what it is that you've been working on for maybe 10 years or so, 10 months. And commit to what's important. Commit to what's true. Commit to what's real. This is also about love. Love is really at your door for a lot of you. Does it mean go fast? No. But there's a true commitment. There's true partnership. There's maybe someone who sees you on all levels and you need, there's a breaking down of the stubbornness around you. Not a lot of arcanas, which is interesting. But what's showing up is really important. I think we can get lost in those sometimes. And it's not that you're in a dark place, you're not. Everything is very clear. Well, not so much clear at the moment, but... Everything's revealing itself to you and has revealed itself to you. And it's really important that you, if you, the more that you commit to this, the more that things will, again, fall away that you, what you need will fall away. That anything you move confidently forward in will be successful regardless of how much you've worked on it externally. And if you, if this towards the end of the month will be more of a confidence boost as long as you take what required steps you need to. <clears throat> I remember that abundance is always there regardless. It's how you draw it to you, even starting small. I think you're going to get what you want and more. And if you're going to be able to see that, of course, you have to let some things go. And some perceptions. All right, Libra. See you next month.